Roses in 1972 after training in an art college in London as a designer. I got a call to come and help out and I didn't deal with the public at all. I was sitting with my tools designing and making. So to come down to a busy shop and I had long hair as a hippie and a white coat from a workshop and suddenly be dealing with people, it was absolutely magnificent. And that for me was both a return to the business and the change into retail. Antwerp is the largest diamond centre in the world. In fact, 84% of the world's diamonds are traded th through Antwerp. For us, it's, it is far better to come to the source. I will look at probably up to 1,200 diamonds over three days and select and buy only about 30 or 35. I'm looking for that superior play of light, little pinheads of the rainbow colours. Can't hold it, it's there in a glimpse, it's gone again. For us it's a, a very important that we have different styles of collections and what we've done is we've taken four styles based on the characteristics and personality of my four granddaughters. So we have an Esme, an Isabella, an Anna and a Sienna. If we take, for example, the Anna ring, Anna is affectionate, imaginative, and she loves to dress up. And you can see all of those styles in the design of the ring. Having your son in the business who has been brought up in the trade, I can be sure that the standards and the values of the business have got a consistency to them. It all began for us over 175 years ago when my great, 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 great grandfather started the business. It's delightful to have my son's sixth generation and that the family business is carrying on. It's fantastic coming over to Antwerp and learning directly from my father his expertise when it comes to selecting the best quality of cut of diamonds. There's so much about diamonds and about the business that you can't learn in a book. You can only learn from experience. And I remember my father telling me that make and how a diamond was cut was the most important thing in a diamond's performance. It reminds me of the words of the famous philosopher Pliny, who said, what is measurable is of little value, and what is immeasurable is of immense value. And I think that is the very essence of passing information on from generation to generation because so much more can be learned. In fact, it is the value of a family business.